Hello friends, happy July. Summer is officially in full swing and I cannot believe we're already halfway through this year. So for the month of July and really for all of quarter three, one of the biggest things that I wanna focus on is indulgent summer joy. I really wanna prioritize feeling peaceful and airy and light and summery while still making progress towards all the dreams and goals that I'm working on. I really wanna prioritize having that balance and I have a new notion system in mind that I think is really gonna help me with that. So for today's Plan With Me video, I'm going to be taking you all with me for my monthly reset routine in Notion, including setting up my Notion monthly dashboard for the month of July, as well as a bit of a quarterly dashboard for quarter three, Q3, which also starts this month. Let's get into it. So typically I start out my monthly reset routine with reflecting on the previous month's goals. However, in this case, June ended up being a super busy month for me. I had a ton of client work and inquiries coming in. I launched a new project in my other line of work that I'm also in. And so it was a very, very busy month. And frankly, a lot of the goals, all of the goals really that I set for the month of June really got sidelined and that's really okay. That happens sometimes. Sometimes we plan or have a vision for what the month is gonna be like, but life has other plans there's a whole lot of other stuff that can just appear on your plate that you didn't really expect all of the goals that i had for june i'm going to be integrating them into my july and quarter three planning and really these things happen i never really like feel bad or guilty if you know a slate of goals that i had thought i was going to be able to get done in a month doesn't end up happening because you know at the end of the day these goals are all for me, right? I'm chasing these goals for myself because I think they're gonna make me feel good when I accomplish them. And I don't want to forsake feeling good now in the process of chasing those goals. Chasing my dreams should feel good. Chasing my dreams should be filled with genuine excitement and passion and inspiration, not guilt or pressure. So I really try to not overthink it when things like that happen when a month doesn't go quite the way I had planned. And really that's what this new Notion system is really gonna be all about. It's a new way of setting up my goals, a new kind of goal system that is going to allow me to have a lot more flexibility and a lot more ability to be adaptable week to week, depending on what is going on in my life, things that are kind of coming onto my plate, what my time and energy are like, and most importantly, what my interests are, like what is naturally calling me to be worked on. <laughs> That's something that I wanna be able to really prioritize in the way that I am pursuing my goals. So I'll explain more when we get to the point of designing that Notion goal system dashboard. But first, one thing I did wanna do because it is the middle of the year and a bit of a mid-year planning session, I did wanna go ahead and open up a notebook and do a little bit of a heartstorming, brainstorming of what I want the next six months to look like and all the various things that I've been wanting to do, all the things for my previous planning sessions, previous goals that I've kind of outlined for myself. I basically mapped out the next six months and kind of jotted down all these different ideas of things I have going on, things I wanna do, and tried to kind of see where it could all fit in. And sometimes when I have a whole bunch of ideas swirling around in my brain, and I'm really trying to kind of visualize a huge chunk of time, it really does help me to just break out pen and paper and use my hands to actually map out on a blank page what the time is gonna look like. So this process was really helpful. It helped me really narrow down the things that I wanna focus on for Q3 of 2024. And this process was also what helped me realize that I do want a more flexible goal system for this quarter. Because I feel like I've just been working really, really hard over the course of the last few months. And I am really proud and excited about all the things that I've been building. And I'm excited to continue working on all of these goals and habits. However, like I said, I really wanna make sure it is the summer. I wanna be out in the sun. I wanna see my people. I wanna be in community. I wanna make sure that I am not forsaking my pleasure and my you know, ability to feel good today for things that I am building for tomorrow. I wanna have a cake and eat it too, <laughs> if that makes sense. So that's what this new Notion goal system is gonna be all about. So anyways, and without further ado, let's just get right into Notion and start building this thing. Okay, so welcome to my Notion dashboard. This is my main life hub. As you can see, I just have this kind of nav page with all the different pages that exist within my notion where we're gonna go in here is my monthly dashboards this is where i house all of the different monthly dashboards for every single month if you are new to my monthly plan with me videos i make a brand new notion monthly planner dashboard spread 
every single month. I really like to make sure that my monthly dashboard feels fresh and new and hyper relevant to what I need at the start of every new month because it does change, right? Sometimes I need a different set of sections. Sometimes I need a different, slightly different planning system, a slightly different habit system, different aesthetic that's gonna really help me stay inspired and excited to look at my monthly dashboard. So typically what I do is I have this little button here that will create a new monthly dashboard template. This is a template that I made and it really just has um, kind of the bare bones of what I usually include in a monthly dashboard, but then I'll go in and customize it. So let's just go ahead and start customizing this for July. My vision is to have basically at the top of this dashboard kind of like a dream menu. Instead of having a specific set of monthly goals that I'm gonna set out for July, August, September, what I actually wanna do is just have a collection of goals or intentions or things that I wanna work on for Q3. And I've already kind of written these down, I'll share them in a second. But I wanna have these goals for Q3 that at the start of every week, what I'm gonna be able to do is just look through my little dream menu and pick out the things that I am feeling currently inspired to work on right now in this moment. And what I love about this is that it's gonna help me kind of follow my whims a little bit, <laughs> be a little whimsical. <laughs> whimsical sounds so frilly, but that is kind of what I mean. I wanna be able to kind of adapt what I'm doing week to week instead of kind of feeling like I am setting out like a specific structure of what I'm gonna work on week one, two, three, and four of July. That is what I usually do. That's what I did with June, but as you can see, things came up throughout June. And so it made it really hard for me to actually take action on all of the goals that I had set out just because things were coming up that I didn't expect. And so I really want this new iteration of a goal setting system to have a lot more adaptability and you know just allow me to follow what I'm feeling like doing and what I have the time, energy, capacity to do at any given time in the month. So let me just start building it and I think it's gonna make sense once you see it. So what I'm gonna want here is a database. However, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my general life hub page and I actually think I'm gonna create a new page that is actually just like a goals page. So I'm gonna just write goals here at the top. I'm just gonna add in a little icon, um, goals hub. Let's just call it that. Then within this hub, what I'm gonna want are two databases. So one is gonna be typing in the word database, clicking database full page. Um, this one, I'm just gonna label goals. And the other one, same thing, just typing in the word database, full page. This one is gonna be called goals, goal tasks. So we have these two databases and I'm actually going to work on kind of tinkering with the databases right here in the hub. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the slash and type linked view of database and I'm gonna select each of those databases right here. So I'm gonna do a linked view of the goals database as well as a linked view of the goal tasks database. So you can see here, I have both of those databases now here. It's gonna be easier for me to work on them side by side. The goals database, what I wanna have here, I'm just gonna fill in some of these properties. So this is gonna be the goal. I'm gonna give it a little icon too, just so we can kinda, you know, differentiate it a little bit. Give this one also that little, icon goals and then maybe the gold task um the gold tasks maybe i'll just make it like a check mark so it's a little bit different we got the goal um i think what i want here is i want a little kind of drop down select situation and i want to call this time frame so i can just indicate a time frame for that goal so um this is for quarter three so i'm going to just do q3 2024 and that is just so each of the goals that I put in over time, I might have goals for different time frames. I might have goals for Q4 2024, Q1 2025. So I just wanna be able to indicate what timing the goal is for. And then the other thing that I wanna have here is I wanna create a relation to this goal task database. So I'm typing in relation and then I'm gonna click into goal tasks. So this is that same database that's down here. And I'm gonna just call this related tasks and show on goal tasks. I'm gonna say yes. 
and this is gonna say related goals. So what this is doing is now I've connected these two databases. So you can see here it says related tasks and here it says related goals. So let me just write one in as an example so you can understand what this is doing. So one of my goals for quarter three, oh, let's do indulgent summer joy. That was one of the ones that I mentioned. Indulgent summer joy. This is for Q3 2024. I feel like I need to give this like a cute color. Let's see that. And then related tasks. Okay, let's do um, read in the park as an example of a related task. So you can see once I typed it in here, it automatically appeared down here in the goal tasks section. And under related goals, it is connected to indulgent summer and joy. So you can see these two databases are connected to each other. And it's gonna make sense in a second why I'm doing this and why I have these two different databases. But I'm gonna go ahead and fill these out. One thing I'm gonna do actually is, as you can see, this kind of automatically creates this little page icon, but I think I wanna have like a cuter icon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this little, um, next to new, this little arrow, click new template. And I'm just gonna add in a little icon. The sparkles are like a little, it's just cute and it makes it feel like ah, the muse is hit this is this is what the muse is telling me to do right so now that i have set up that little um template here i'm gonna click this and do set as default for all views now okay so let's say i'm gonna add in a new goal task let's do one related to indulgent summer fun let's do board games with bert my partner um you can see it automatically will now add in that little cute icon mm -hmm so cute and i'll assign it to indulgent summer joy i'm gonna do the same thing with the goals themselves so okay so this is looking pretty cute so far let's go ahead and add in another property for the goal tasks database and finish setting this one up one thing that i want to do is i want to have a little select status for these goal tasks so i want to be able to indicate if it's active maybe not inactive but maybe something like um awaiting the muse you know what i mean like it's like i'm just waiting for inspiration to hit um maybe we'll do like inspire for something that's like really top of mind and then maybe completed now we've got a status and we can assign a status for each goal related task the other thing that i want to go ahead and add in is a done like checkbox because you know we love checkboxes so let's add in a checkbox property we'll just call it done oh so cute and what i'm gonna actually do is i'm actually gonna drag this um, to the front okay great so now we have kind of a checklist style uh database for the goal tasks and then we have the goals database which is kind of the umbrella that's capturing all of the tasks that are eventually gonna be here. By the way, if all this Notion database stuff is overwhelming you or you have no idea what I'm talking about, I really recommend that you check out my Notion tutorial on how to make to-do lists in Notion, where I really walk you through step-by-step -step how to go from a very basic to-do list in Notion to a more advanced one. We go through databases and relations and roll-ups, and that video is very, very in-depth and can really help you understand what we're talking about here. But even if you're totally confused, just wait for it and just see how this July dashboard comes together because I really think that this goal system is gonna, once you understand it, once it clicks, it's gonna blow your mind. So let's keep going. The last thing that I wanna set up before I populate all of my goals and populate all of my tasks is I do actually wanna set it up so that when I click into one of my goals, I wanna basically have like a focused table of all of the goals I mean, of all the tasks that are related to just this one goal. So I'm gonna set this up within the same template that we had been editing before. I'm gonna click edit and I wanna create this little kind of focused view. So I'm gonna do a linked view of our exact same goal task database. So this is the same one. And what I'm gonna do is I can hide the database title. I don't think that's gonna be necessary gonna just reorganize it so it looks pretty yeah let's keep it like that I think that looks pretty cute okay so now this is editing inside of the template what I'm gonna do now is when I click in to make a new goal you'll see it automatically has this little table populated within it which is really helpful so within the indulgent summer goal I'm gonna just click this new goal template so it'll automatically populate that for me so cute and then i'm gonna go to filter 
and just filter it by indulgent summer joy. So now this is only gonna show the goals that are related to indulgent summer joy. So let me go ahead and populate all of the goals that I'm working on in Q3, and then it's gonna make all it's gonna make a lot more sense once all of the information is already in here. So let me go ahead and write in those goals right now. Okay, I have all the goals listed. I'm gonna go ahead and write in all of the subtasks related to each of these goals, then I'll come and explain all of this. So as you can see, I've written in a bunch of related tasks for each of these goals. So let me just go ahead and talk you through some of these goals just so you can get a sense of what I'm working on. So indulgent summer joy, we already talked about this, but I wanna do a bunch of fun things, read in the park, play board games with my partner, I wanna nurture a new friendship with someone in my area, I wanna attend a local event. So for slow cozy infrastructure, I actually can't share too much about this one just yet. I'm gonna add in more of the related tasks later, but basically I have, if you're somebody who enjoys this intentional life design process and is looking to redesign your life into something that is softer and slower and sweeter, which is what everything, all the content that I make here on this channel is all about, I have so many resources that I'm so excited to build out and share with you all. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on them, but I am working on the infrastructure to be able to present that to you guys. So that is something that I'm working on. One example of this is those shareable notion templates that everyone has been asking me for. I'm working on setting that up. So moving on to the wedding clothes, I'm not gonna belabor this, but I did get married and I'm looking to complete all of my post wedding tasks, thank you letters, checks, selling my old wedding items, nurturing my income streams. If you've been following along with my plan with me videos, and if you don't know, I do a plan with me video every single month, but I'm coming back from basically a one year sabbatical where I basically closed down all of my work streams to just take some time for myself and to do some soul searching and figure out what is the next iteration of my work, the next soul offering that is calling to me to put out into the universe. And oh boy, did I come back with some ideas. But in the meantime, I am busily ramping up all of those income streams once again. So that is something that I wanna make sure I'm continuing to work on over the course of Q3. I've done a lot of it in the course of the last six months, but just continuing to nurture them, it's always important. Lastly, identity work. I've talked about this in past videos too, but basically I'm just trying to make sure that I have a really clear way, crystal, crystal clear way of explaining the work that I do. And so I am continuing to work on that. Updating my website is a big priority of mine. Um, and I have a course that I'm working on as well. So those are some of the goals. I'm gonna actually fill in a lot more detailed tasks later off camera, of course, but this is just to give you a little bit of an idea of the things that I'm working on. Those are the goals and you can see down below all of the tasks have automatically also populated down here and they all are assigned to the goal that they are under, which is amazing. The last thing that I wanna add into the goals database is a progress bar just because progress bars are really fun. So I'm gonna go and add a new property. This one is gonna be a roll up and I am going to make the relation our related tasks. And the property that I wanna take a look at is the checkbox. And what I want it to do is I want it to count or show a percent of the ones that are checked. So I'm gonna do it as a bar. Mmm, cute, okay, great. So you can see, I'm actually gonna give this a name too. Let's name it progress and I'll give it a little icon like this. Okay, so as you can see now, they each have a cute little progress bar. And if I were to check off any of these tasks, ooh, so cute. You can see that it automatically went and updated the little bar. Oh my gosh, I just love it. It's so satisfying. I love this, oh my gosh. And now we are ready to go back to the July dashboard. Okay, here we are. All right, so we have our July dashboard. This is gonna get real cute real fast. Let's start out with adding in that database that we just made. So I wanna create a section. I am thinking I literally wanna call it dream menu. Like it's a menu. Ooh. Sorry, I'm so excited about this. This is so cute. I'm gonna make it into a little heading and I'm gonna go ahead and create a linked view of that same database. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on the goals database and you can see it automatically populated that same database that we've been working on. Um, I'm gonna actually change the font on this page. Ooh, I always have this mono font for 
um, <laughs> my dashboards, but I think we're gonna just do the default. Maybe I'll like make this a little <laughs> stylized. I'm gonna add in like some cute stuff to make this cute. I was thinking I want this to be a strawberry. Now we have this database. So what I wanna do is I actually wanna show this database as a gallery. I want the card preview to be a cover and I'm actually gonna go and find some cute images for each of these goals. <laughs> about to be so cute i'm so excited okay for any of my monthly dashboards i always will go to pinterest and find a bunch of cute images aesthetic images that feel like they match the spirit of my goals in the case of july the two things that i'm really thinking a lot about in july and in q3 are the indulgent summer joy piece as well as this idea of building infrastructure and building laying down foundations and kind of visioning that's like a big theme of what I have going on right now. So those are the kinds of images that I'm gonna be looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of the images that I've already picked out and I'm going to just copy and paste them into my July dashboard. I also went ahead and picked out some images that I think are gonna be really good for my covers for all of my goals. So I'm gonna go ahead and add each of those. So let me just show you an example. This is an image that I think I wanna use for that identity work. Um, goal. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the image. Actually, I'm going to copy the image address and I'm going to go here to the identity work um, goal. And I'm going to hit add cover. I'm going to hit change cover, go to link, and I'm just going to paste that link and hit submit. And it, it'll just automatically grab that image for me. I love it. Oh my God. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing and add in all of the images that I had already picked out for all of these. Okay, let's um, stylize a little bit. I think the whole page is ready to get some images and some color. Let's go ahead and add in, um, yeah, just some, some little aesthetic pops. Okay, so I don't think that I'm actually gonna need this kind of monthly goal section anymore because that's kind of what this is gonna end up being. Actually, a lot of this stuff I might not need, I don't need this image. Let's do a set of like four columns and I do want this calendar on this rightmost column, but what I actually want here is this, this kind of weekly dashboard. Let me go ahead and move this up here. What this is, is this is my kind of day by day breakdown of all the different things that I do. As you can see this week. And we can just make this into this color and maybe H2. We can go a little bit smaller, add the same little aesthetic details. Hmm, cute. Okay, so in these other two columns on the left side, I was thinking that I want to have a habit tracker. I'm going to do it as a call out. I did this in my June monthly dashboard and I really liked how this kind of looked and worked for me. I'm going to give it a little background. I'm just going to type in the word habits and I'm actually just going to copy in my habits from June. This was my June monthly dashboard. If you want to see how I made this one, I can leave a link to this video up above somewhere here. But this is my dashboard for the month of June. Very streamlined. Literally, that's it. That's That was the whole dashboard. And you know what? It really worked for me. I really liked it. But I think I'm going to really like this July dashboard um, even more for where I am for this coming quarter. So I am going to just copy these habits that I was working on because they're the same ones that I think I'm going to be working on in... Oh, gosh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? Ah, I love this. I am gonna just, I think these hearts are bolded. Yeah, and I don't think I need them to be so bold, but oh, uh, oh my gosh. I think this is, this is so stinking cute. I love this. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is my little habit tracker. Very, very straightforward. Each of these little hearts just represents um, a day of the month. And 
I just fill them in with the black heart when I've done the task. Let's see, are all these, yeah, take my daily vitamins. I'm not gonna read every single day. That's one thing that I'm probably not gonna do. Um, so down here I have some habits that I just track weekly. So there's five weeks in July, one, two, three, four, five weeks. So I think for reading, I'll just do a weekly tracker, chores, and movement. Okay, that looks pretty good to me for the habit tracker. And then of course the thing that's missing here is an image. I'm just gonna copy and paste one in from Pinterest. Ugh, so cute. You see the strawberries? You see what I'm going for here? Oh, I love it. This one. Oh my gosh. Ah, I think it's so cute. I love these images so much. They really, really capture the kind of uh vibe that I'm going for for the month. This idea of don't postpone joy. I really want to make sure that I am prioritizing my pleasure throughout the summer. I love this kind of like semi-summery, but kind of also like motivated, like got my shoes on, I'm gonna do stuff. It's like a little bit of that balance of those two energies that I'm trying to embody for the summer. Oh my gosh, I just really, really, really love this. I think it is so cute. So a couple notes of how this works, by the way. So you can see here, this is my daily to-do list. So every week I'm going to refresh this and the way that I usually do that, you can see I have all of these different assets from my previous usual template. I'm just deleting the ones that I don't need. So, these um so these are little buttons that i use to generate my new weekly task list so every time i click them it creates a new little weekly spread and then i can put my old one into this weekly's archive but then you can see in here in my archive i have literally every week <laughs> from for years <laughs> that's my kind of like weekly day by day planning system but what i think i'm going to do differently for this month and this is the whole reason we created this whole little kind of dream menu at the start of every week. I wanna come here to this goals database, which by the way, I can hide this database title. Let me just quickly, card size large. Ooh, yeah, I kinda of like that. So they're really just like big and visible. I think I'm gonna add in actually one more image here. Let's, um, Yeah, Ugh, I love this. I love this image so much, this idea of trust the seeds that you are planting. So this, okay, so basically my whole vision for this this whole dream menu, this, this new goal system that I'm setting up here, the idea is that at the beginning of every week, instead of having a preset, as you can see, there is no section here for monthly goals. I don't have specific July goals. I have these quarter three goals or dreams that I'm working on, but what I envision doing is instead of trying to like kind of pre-plan out what I'm working on every month of the quarter and every week of every month, which is usually what I do, what I wanna be able to do at the start of every week is I'm gonna just review these dreams and kind of see, okay, what am I actually currently feeling called to do? Like, what am I actually right now in this moment feeling interested in working on? If I look through all of these tasks, what is inspiring me? So all of these tasks, I'm actually gonna step every single one of them to awaiting the muse. So that way, all of them are kind of dormant until it suddenly hits me that I wanna work on them. And so maybe I'm like, you know what? This weekend, I really, I'm feeling inspired and I wanna go and read in the park. And, um, you know, maybe I'll be looking through and I'll be looking at my identity work section and I'll see, ooh, um, I really think this is the week that I kind of, I'm feeling interested in working on my website. So I can go ahead and change the status. And one thing that I actually wanna do is, I think I wanna create a section down here. This was part of part of the vision. Current muse, muses. And what I wanna have here is I really wanna have um, another linked view of that same database. This is gonna be the goals task database. So these are all of those goal tasks. Um, I gotta just bring it up here so I can properly edit it. I'm gonna filter this by um, status. I'm gonna do inspired and active maybe. I'm gonna actually hide the database title as well. Actually, I could even display this as a gallery as well, but a gallery without any, yeah, 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 yeah. okay. So, check it out! Ah, how cute is this? 
this. Oh my gosh, okay, I think this is so cute. So basically, I will have kind of like a view at the start of every week, I'll just pick out the things that I'm feeling inspired to work on and then they'll just auto populate down here less like goals and just more like these are the things that i feel like working on and that i have the space to work on right now and i'll be able to continually kind of update this at the start of every week so i can really adapt based on you know what i'm interested in in any given week what is really calling me to to work on what is what I have time for, what I have energy for, what I have the capacity for, and it'll all show up right here, but I also have this bigger view, so I'm always kind of reminded of what I'm working on for the quarter, and look how cute this is. I mean, I'm gonna look at this and just constantly wanna be like, ah, okay, what's in here? Like, what did I say I was gonna work on? Because <laughs> it's so cute. And maybe I'll even here in this um, goals section, I'm gonna actually, in the property section, I'm gonna just go ahead and make the progress bar visible so I can also just kind of have a general sense of like how I'm doing on each of these goals. That'll help me kind of get a general sense of what I need to spend more time on, but I am not as restricted or I'm not like trying to start every month with here's the things I'm gonna work on every single week and then end up like I kind of did in June where it's like, that's just not how things turned out. I wanna be able to be adaptable and follow my muse every single week, if that makes sense. At the start of every week, I'm gonna just check in and see what I feel like working on. And I think this is gonna be a really cool way to work on my goals, a really cool goal system that I think is gonna have exactly the type of flexibility that I'm really looking for right now and that's gonna allow me to just trust that I will work on the things that I care about and also allow me to like focus on, on being happy <laughs> and enjoying my summer and enjoying the sun. So down here, this is just like a graveyard of all the things that I didn't end up using from my usual template. So this is like a weekly, this is kind of just like a little planning space. I, I will at the start of every month, usually what I do is I map out like what I'm doing each week. Like I'll do that literally on July 1, I plan out kind of roughly what steps towards each of my goals I'm gonna work on each week. I'll kind of map it out in this space. Um, I won't completely delete this just in case. Here, I'm gonna actually set up um, another little two columns. I actually have one more image that I really wanted to use. So this is gonna be a good excuse to do that. <laughs> okay, so this is the image. I just feel like it's so summery. It's really, it's really capturing the vibes. <laughs> so maybe what I can do for this section is, I'm gonna just copy this so I can use this same kind of look. And I'm gonna do a resourcing section because like I said, I wanna make sure I'm feeling really balanced in the coming months. And I think something that would really help me is to have a section that's just kind of like, resources that are gonna support that. So um, I'm gonna add in two columns here and I'm gonna add in this affirmation section to this column. Maybe I'm just gonna, what if I do just like a default background? What if I do like heart? The other thing that I was kind of thinking of having here, I'm gonna just duplicate this. The other thing that I was kind of thinking about doing was like a recharge section. And the thing that I wanted to just write out here is I actually have a different page in my Notion um, that is kind of like a joy menu. Maybe at some time, if you guys are interested, I can do a video about that joy menu. It's kind of like kind of like a dopamine menu, kind of like a resource for me to kind of think through things that tend to help me, you know, boost my mood, improve my energy, um, lots of different things like that. But I just wanted to kind of maybe write out some that are at this time I know really help me recharge. So some of the things that are coming to mind is I've been doing a lot of tarot. So one thing I wanted to write here is like a tarot session. That could be a good way for me to recharge when I'm needing it. Um, just journaling for five minis, um, make tea, play a cozy game. So I'm just thinking about things that help me, like lately have been helping me recharge. And also just like, follow a muse. Like I have all of these muses, like this whole board is kind of designed around following my muses and my, just the things that I'm naturally feeling drawn to work on. And so thing is like when I'm working on something that I'm genuinely inspired by and excited by, it instantly gives me energy. So I think at a time when I'm feeling a little unmotivated, one thing that I should do is just like consult my dream menu and just look at 
what do I feel like doing? What do I feel like doing right now? What What is the muse kind of calling me to, to work on? So yeah, this is just like really a resource for me, just like a way for me to kind of, if I'm feeling like ugh, just like a little squishy, my mood's off, I can kind of come down here and just like have a little quick access to this little list of things that can kind of help me recharge. And then maybe I'll just go ahead and keep this little kind of scratch pad planning session just in case. Okay, that's kind of cute. Maybe I'll even move these um, little weekly things. Oh, okay, that's kind of cute, right? A little resourcing section down here at the bottom. I am really happy with how this looks. This looks pretty cute. Oh, what about a cover image, like along the top? Oh my gosh. Ah, how cute is this? Oh my gosh, I actually adore this. Y'all, I am so excited about this. I love this new goal system. I love, I know it was a little bit confusing to explain. I hope it all makes sense now that we're here at the end, but I love the idea that I have this dream menu that I'll just be able to like, you know, peruse at the beginning of every week and just kind of feel what I am actually in the mood to work on because that is gonna really allow for so much flexibility. And I really do think that this is gonna help me move toward my goals in a way that's a lot more organic and a lot less kind of forced, if that makes sense. Cause that's the big thing. I really wanna feel like as I work towards my goals, as I like chase my dreams, I really wanna feel like it feels good. Like it feels like something that I'm just naturally pulled to, you know what I mean? And so that's really what this new goal system is really all about. So I'm so excited about this July monthly dashboard. I've never done a system like this before, so this is gonna be new for me, but I really, I just adore how this looks. I think that this is amazing. This will kind of be like the main view that I kind of have open throughout the day but then the full board has this menu right here. And I love that I'll be able to scroll through this and just kind of get inspiration at the start of every week. And then they appear right here. I love that I can kind of like click into these. And if I am back to awaiting the muse, it goes away. And then as I look through these things, I can kind of pick something that I'm like, oh, okay, I'm kind of ready to do this. I'm ready to work on this. And then it'll appear down here. Ugh. Guys, this is so cute. I'm so excited about it. So that is the July dashboard. I hope you all like it as much as I do. I'm just so into this. Y'all, I'm so excited about this new goal system. I love this Notion setup because I think it's really gonna support this more flexible way of looking at my goals and this idea of being able to just follow my muse and kind of follow what I am naturally feeling called to work on in any given week and kind of what I have time to work on in any given week. You know, I don't want to feel like pressured or guilty if I'm not keeping up with a plan that I set up weeks ago. I want to feel like I can be flexible and I can kind of move toward my goals in a way that feels really natural for what I currently have going on. And I really think that this notion system is going to really support that way of looking at my goals and looking at my dreams. Let me know what y'all think down below. Would you use a dashboard like this? I kind of love it. I think it is so cute. I'm so excited to start using this and I cannot wait to see how it supports, you know, my dreams this summer and my intention of having that balance between pleasure and progress. <laughs> if you're interested in seeing the ways that I've set up my monthly dashboards in the past, I'll leave a playlist somewhere around here of my past Plain With Me videos if you just feel like binge watching a bunch of them and getting a whole bunch of ideas. Like I said, I do a different monthly dashboard setup every single month in Notion, so you can go check that out. I am wishing you such a happy July and the best summer ever, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.